Hello, howdy, folks! Whoops, my voice got a little goofed up there, but welcome back to the Tomb Kings Cult Leader campaign. Let's get started. Why don't we do some scouting? Aha! So someone's hiding over here. Let's go for the old block. Mostly because I want to level up. Wow, this guy's definitely leveled up, isn't he? Why don't we go with damage walls for now and over here? Alright. We can't quite see what's in the army, but it definitely looks nasty, that's for sure. This army is also extremely nasty. Kalita's on the way, but I think... I think we might want to dive in. Why don't we think about that while we go somewhere else for now? We've got a Necrotect over here. Let's start getting some scout on with him. One more turn for King Oyas. What does he do? Oh, he's just disciplined. He's just a regular guy. Can we give him anything? Construction cost? Sure. Vanguard for skeleton chariots? What a joke. Alright. Now let's ignore that for now. Let's go over here. Are the walls still damaged, please? They might be. Let's move in with King Lamazash and get a free take on it. I don't... I don't care about that. Let's just take it. Ooh, got a little close with the Ushabti there. Can't say I like that, but city's ours anyway. It's probably on account of being assaulted before then. Let's start working on some walls and stuff. We're gonna recover in short order. Pretty short order, I think. Okay, over here. Let's get scouting this way. And King Setep. Why don't you go here and King Wackif, why don't you move in? Yep, Karagard is ours with... We lost two skeletal archers and that's it, okay. It's ours again. The poor city is probably, what, level two now, I would think? Level two. Ouch. Well, let's immediately start upgrading it. What a bummer. What a bummer. And then we'll move over to the worship of Petra. Get that growth going. We're level 13 with Wackif. Let's take another pick of that Soul Reaper. Level 17 with the Lich Priest. Let's get Evasion. And Setep. Why don't we get out of the mountains so you can start re uh, replenishing there. Wackif. What can we get here? Yeah, we lost two archers, so we'll just replace them. Slow going on the replenishment, but it's going to be a while until these armies fight anything. Very unfortunate that we lost almost everything in the city. But we have our obsidian back. Look at it. Oh, it opened up a ton of stuff for us. Destroyer of Eternities or the Blade of Morning Fire. I'm more interested in survivability, I think. Wasn't there... Oh, we still need the wine. Yeah. We are quite a ways away from wine, I think. Winds of Magic Power? What is this? AoE Magic Resistance? That's pretty nice, actually. It's pretty nice. Flaming Attacks? Let's, why, don't we, why don't we make one of these things? Sure. Is there... I, I want to find out if there's a cooldown or if I could just make as many as I want. I can. It's just the... You know, the jars are... You know, a bit of a... Bit of an entry fee there. Let's give it to our Tomb Prince. Of yes. Fire damage, please. Let's give him the Opal Amulet. We need at least one stack that is extremely strong and of course Kalita is the one to do it. The Pools of Despair is ready for an upgrade. 
Let's make it monetary and slap some walls together. We're developing this province extremely fast. I like it. I guess we're due for a battle already. I guess so. Gold metal skeletons. Not the worst thing in the world. Except for that armor, of course. Which is the worst thing in the world. Nope. <laughs> we got the big old nope there from Dijkstra. If you've ever played The Witcher 3, I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. Grudge throwers, organ guns, lots of rangers, and only a couple of melee, and they're all tired. Well, all right. Who initiates the fight? I think we'll have Tolathor. Now, let's have Rakish move in here. Come on, Rakish, like that. Is that close enough? Ah, that stupid... No, I don't think that's close enough. Let's... Okay, let's just do it the not dumb way. That takes twice as long, though. Let's encircle. Okay, now let's move in. Now let's do the fight. Okay. Looks good. Let's give our leadership to the king. Because they have pretty low leadership. And... In their existence, indeed. Let's do it. Let's gamble. You know, it's really starting to look like they fixed the reinforcement mechanics. Usually I read the patch notes, and I must have glossed over that one. Let me know if you know for sure that they did, because it's certainly starting to look like they did. Which is awesome. Super awesome. Let's get a skeleton filler in the middle and the flanks nice and strong. We're going to have to... This is a map we haven't done before. I don't think so. Interesting. That looks so cool in the distance. Right then. Stuff like this. I'm just happy we don't have to deal with the Tomb Swarm, because that was just super annoying. I'm not going to have to see that anymore. Let's get our... yep. And all this stuff, let's just group it up for now and get moving. Like this. Bows and stuff. Like that. Is that everyone? Nope, we got to get the King and the Priest moving. Another army. All these Nagar warriors are probably going to be very helpful. Can't say I approve of the cannon crew. Can we bow them maybe with the great bows? We'll, we'll see. I heard they make really good anti... Yeah, there we go. Now it works. Okay, so we're firing. Wow, did that take a cannon out already? I can't quite tell. I can't quite tell. But it looks like it's hurting them, so we'll, we'll keep it like that. Okay, more reinforcements over here. More skeleton archers like this. And everyone else just like this for now. That's a lot of moving cards. That's fine. All right, great. So everyone's moving in. Iron breakers, iron breakers, iron breakers. The slayers are pretty annoying, but everything else, not the worst thing in the world. Iron breakers. There's three iron breakers on that side. Why don't we get the Ushabti to shift over? Let's start issuing some attacks in there. Just right down the line. I want all the spears to fight those slayers. Yep. We'll get the Ushabti in and see what it looks like. And then the priest and stuff in there as well. Let's get the archers in now. More archers like this. The great bow. Not very effective. Definitely not very effective. Let's get him up in here instead. Maybe it'll, they'll be better at close range. I don't know. Infantry are joining the battle. It's time to get our Ushabti in on all these iron breakers. 
Ah, eh, let's get one in over here to just deal with all this filler. That'll help a lot. Great. Looking good in there. Looking good. Let's get our scorpion in on those miners. He should be able to help clean it up a bit. Archers, why don't we focus fire those dragonback slayers? And it's time to... Oh, that's a tomb prince. Let's just get in there with the tomb king and the tomb prince. They, I wish they were a little bit more recognizable but at a glance, but, you know, they're mummies. What can you do? Let's get in here with more stuff. Another scorpion, just move in. Lots of warriors and stuff are still on the way. Let's start hitting those hammers with great bows. We're carving our way through, but it's taking a minute. It is taking a minute. All right, can we get a Fawz protection at this range? Not quite, but let's move in for it. All right, we're ready for this. Yep, who shot to you right in the middle? Let's do something about those iron breakers, please. They're throwing bombs in here. It's going to be a massacre or not. The rangers are actually, how is that happening? What is it? They're all rangers, but, well, they're just surrounded, so that's that's maybe just the way it's gonna go. Let's get the next wave of Ushabti in there. Are these sepulchral stalkers? There's no real reason to be actually committing them to the fight. Let's keep getting our priest in. Is it worth a banishment? Those are just, they're just skeletons. So yes, it's going to be a worth the banishment when we get closer. Lots of Nehekara warriors. Let's move in. Forgot to move in these spears. Let's get in there. What are these? Tomb guard? No, that's a waste of tomb guard. Let's get in there. Why don't we run these things down with our snakes? Let's get some snakes in there, I suppose. Yep. This is, it's just crunchy trying to get in. Trying to get in through all this. It's just a little bit crunchy. That's the way it's gonna be. Can we get, can we please get some stuff in there, please? That should help, it's all bunched up. Come on, Tube Scorpion, get in there. All right, fresh wave of warriors is all arriving here. Who cares, let's just throw it in. These dwarves are gonna break pretty soon, I think. They're gonna be breaking pretty soon. Let's drop another false protection. I love how there's, like, no cooldown on that spell. Archers, get more organized. Great bows. They're just not... They're, they're kind of glitching out here, it seems like. They're not quite helping. Let's get our archers a little bit closer. More spears and stuff. Get in there. These Ushabti really need to get out of there. Hopefully they don't collapse. They might. That would suck. Iron drakes are being annoying. Let's chase them down. Chase them down. Let's get on top of all this stuff. We finally broke through. We finally broke through. Yep. Stay on top of all this. We don't want them getting away. But they are fighting hard. It's, it's because Ungrim just never gives up. He never gives up. Let's get the stalkers out of that mess. Looks like we're just... Hammers. Yep. Oh, I thought they were running. Are they running? I'm not quite sure. Let's go ahead and make sure they pay for it. Looks like they're getting some arrows in their back as they try and get away. Courtesy of our archers. Each arrow probably doing 0 0.05 damage or something, I would think. Let's get right, come on. Let's get right in there. Kill that goblobber. Wow, the dwarves are just running around willy-nilly. That's not something you usually have to deal with, is it? 
Let's get our great bows up in here since they're totally bugging out. Let's follow up on Bugman's Rangers. Who shop to you follow up on those dwarf warriors? I mostly just want to have our anti infantry guys be fighting Ungram here. Let's get our. Uh, our priest got a little excited by the look of it. That's fine. The troll hammer torpedo. Nope. We, we don't want that. Let's get our scorpion in on it. Boy, they were just not. They were just not breaking. Hey, our catapult's finally in action. Look at that. Great. Great bows. Anything we can shoot. Looks like the battle is over. Is it? Iron breakers are refusing to die. But it, sh it looks like this battle is over. I don't know why some things are still on the field. There we go. That's got to be it. Yeah, all right. So they're all dead. And now it's Ungrim, which is pretty much just fast forward because holy cow. He takes literally forever to kill. What can we do? I guess we'll do a Fawz protection just to help. And slowly work him down. I'm pretty sure he's anti-large, so I don't want to get any... Oh, look at that hyper-accurate bow fire, though. Every once in a while, it looks like they draw a good beat on him. Dwarven heroes. <laughs> Dwarven heroes. <laughs> Legendary. And he's dead. That's it. Well, we did okay for what the battle was. The dwarves had every single advantage possible in a fight like this. I alone shall oh, we lost some Ushab T. Okay. Overall, casualties are not bad. Level 11 is good. Occupy Let's take the city. In my Defeated Ungrim. I'll take that. That's good. It's good stuff there. And a Scarecrow banner is also good stuff. Priest of Light, level 12. Let's get him on a horse. It's time we did that. Level 11 with Rakish. Ooh, we're ready to pick one of these cool things. He's just Mr. Admin Guy. God, it's really hard not to take this because that's a really big boost for Tomb Guard, and Tomb Guard are great. This is nice, too. Casualty Replenishment. Thirty-five percent plus twenty-five percent on the attrition. That's minus seventy percent. Three, no, minus six. Yeah, okay. Is there any more reductions? Probably not. But that is still very serious reduction, and the bonuses to Ushabti, pretty great. Let's take that, not only just to mix things up, but to get that attrition modifier, because Rakish is kind of um, Kalita's little follower. Why don't we give him something nice for all his troubles? Yeah, he follows Kalita around and just pretty much helps, helps her out. And since Kalita pretty much has 100% attrition re uh, reduction, I'd like to stack that up with um, imperishable, so we don't have to like camp through chaotic regions. We could just march right on through and not even care. That sounds really cool to me on oh, legendary. Tomb Prince, hard to hit. Oh, Royal Lieutenant is so good. Hit points and melee attack just like that. 
Let's do it. That's such a big boost to the melee attack for one point. And the hit points, of course, is great. We lost two. I think they were skeletons, right? No, one was an Ushab T and one was a skeleton. That's frustrating. Let's start the Ushab T. Pick up a skeleton. Because they're going to be coming at us. And I want to guard the city. Yeah, we can, we can go ahead and start upgrading. We're a long way away from fully grown and... Uh, Camry here. I think I want to go for, I know the the unit experience nice, but I want to get to level 5 so we can um, locally recruit this big great stuff. Ooh, next turn. Next turn we get the Great Pyramid of Cetra. That sounds nice. Super nice. Local recruitment and everything. Alright. Let's get on over here to our Necrotect. It's time to get moving. Qatar, we're waiting on you. And Kofor, let's upgrade that. Kalita. I think I want to get moving this way. Look at that. Humans are still alive. I wonder what the Dark Elves are up to. Every single game we play, the Dark Elves are ultra strong. Would be nice for once if someone else got ultra strong. We'll see. Hopefully not the High Elves. I hate fighting High Elves so much. Ugh. I guess we're done with this turn. Let's move on. Hey, finally, some random king attacks one of our settlements. I'm glad they're suiciding themselves. Oh, damn it. Assault garrison over in Migdal. All right. Necropolis knights get a bit of a bonus there. War beasts. All right. I have something to show you. Look at that. They're just sailing in on the horizon. Tons of them. Okay. Naturally, we're going to be losing a lot of stuff on our coasts here. That's what it looks like. What are our options? Bring me Neferata's head. Option one, Kalida turns around to fight. Seems like a good option to me. King Rakish will join her in a turn. And Tolathor. Oh my god. That is... That is something else going on over there. Can these dwarves reach Xandri in a single turn? Oh, I'm not too sure. Can we block them? No. What about over here? Are they on guard? Yeah, that's even harder. Let's keep moving into Galvarez. The dwarves are not messing around, are they? Lamez Ash is level 8, though. We've got the stone masonry up. The tomb guard could really use the sun scorched bones. We could also use Soul Reaper. Mm, we do have a priest, though. Let's at least get two points of the Sun Scorch Bones. It's, it's, it's so good. And let's see. This army is just built for fighting dwarves, so we're just going to have to keep them up here. Um, Wackif, on the other hand, it's time to get him absolutely moving this way. He's our desert fighter. We have to keep him in the desert. Find my harem. Let's get moving north. Move. The Def Gorge looks like it's building up an army, so let's get moving in on it. I was hoping to get some more Tomb Guard in the army, but eh, actually what he has is not the worst thing. But more Tomb Guard would really help. That's fine. Let's get Kalida moving. Address me as your highness. 
I think we're gonna have to leave Tolathor here. Can we squeeze in some Tomb Guard on this army? Oh, we're actually full up on Tomb Guard, aren't we? Definitely full up on Tomb Guard. Alright, Tolathor is gonna be fighting dwarves. He's just gonna be fighting dwarves, we know it. Let's get at least two Tomb Guard for him. We need lots of infantry to fight the Dwarven infantry. This is not a bad setup either. Although I wish we had the Necropolis Knights instead of the Stalkers, but you know, we'll just handle, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Can we hurt this guy? Nope, definitely not. He's level 1 million. Let's get our Necrotect over here to help with the chaos. Can we knock this guy out? Nope. That's a big nope. Let's get to Galbaraz. We're going to want to make a move on Galbaraz. This little guy is going to be hurting us, though, if we... Let's... Third Dynasty, is it time? Construction cost, discounts... Acropolis Knights, Casket of... Well, 10% on the Casket of Souls is not bad. So is reload time and all that. Yeah, let's let's work out both of these things. Resetra is ready. Let's turn that over so we get a discount next turn. Okay, Savar is ready. Let's turn that over to discounts next turn. We're waiting here, and that's it with all of that stuff, right? We've moved everything. I have to take this very carefully, because we're in a bit of a pickle. I really want to take Galbaraz, because it's got a strategic location. But it's not for us. The followers of Nagash seems mighty specific, doesn't it? But I would like to kind of wrap it up so that Dwarves are just coming out of the mountains at us. It's a little bit easier to deal with. What happens if we go here and then camp? Oh, we can't camp. We can only do the entomb. That's fine. We'll do that. I just want to get moving to Galbraz and replenishing. My dole is plummeting. Why? Just the characters and stuff like that. All right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. We're going to have to leave them here this turn. That is a lot of chaos. That is a lot of chaos. My servant fails me. I ignore the critics. Uh, well, Tolathor and Rakish are recruiting now. There's nothing we can do except for Rakish... Why don't we drop some skeletons? What can we get? Anti-chaos. That's what we're thinking right now. Nakar horsemen. That's not too bad, but I'm thinking like we need to get through armor. And tomb guard are pretty swell at that. And we only have one turn. Yeah, let's just get a bunch, bunch of Tomb Guard filler because Rakish, he follows into battle. So extra extra filler is going to be just fine. Great. Moving on. All right. Looks like King Lamazash is struggling up here in the desert with... Um... Ooh, that's a lot of income, isn't it? Level 34, no. level 9. And I saw... Uh, what's his name? The High King. High King Thorgrim. He went here and went into ambush stance. So 
So I think we're gonna do, we're gonna fall back to Medal just to work on the public order. And I mean, clearly he's coming for us. So can we knock this guy out? Let's try it. Nope. Is he on guard now? Yes, he is. That's too bad. Let's go to Galbraz and just start practicing. Level 11. Stalkers and Necropolis Knights. Tomb Scorpions, Ushab, T, Great Bow. I'm just going to keep getting this because we get Ushab, T, and Great Bows in like every single army because they're, because they're awesome. Let's get in there. Nope. All right. Can we block them? Yes, we can. Level 17. Let's start picking up Wound. Good. That means they can't quite make it to Xandri. King Rakish, you need to start moving down here right away. And Tolathor, let's put you in Xandri. Tolathor could very well get killed. Why don't we give him an Ogre Blade? Sure. Can we get rid of this standard for something nice? I don't, I don't want to give him the Scarecrow Banner. Yeah, we're a little bit exposed to this Dwarf stack. That's for sure. If we die defending Xandri... Eh, not the worst thing in the world. Let's just upgrade it for now and build some walls. Yeah, we could get pottery from Lashik as well, even though Lashik's time is uh, a little limited right now. Level 9 with Prince Ophthos. Tomb Strike. Full plate is actually good. This is pretty nice as well. But I mean, Woundmaker, hard to turn that one down. Let's take it. Level 14 with Iosures. Let's just pick another Necro Sphinx. We'll probably mix it up with the rest of our Necro Techs as we go. Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen, is it? All the way over here to the Resetra with our discount. Boom! The big upgrade's on the way for Resetra. We're ignoring Qatar. Let's do some exploring up here. Level 22? Okay. Why not? Let's keep working on that. So that is a nasty army. Set tip, let's get right to the edge here. Next turn we'll be in range of the Death Gorge. We have a pretty good amount of stuff. Can we globally recruit? Yeah. Let's drop some of these skeletons. Uh, I hate that we're full of tomb. Let's get one of the neck guard things. It's too bad we're full of tomb guard. But I definitely don't want skeleton spears when we're fighting against doors. It's just, it's just silly. Wackif is going to keep moving on over. Bell Aliad. Yeah, let's let's continue upgrading our income. We're looking pretty good. Nasty stuff. Pretty nasty stuff. Can we get to Kofer without running? Nope. Let's go to Kofer. They're in they're in march stance. Beyond your comprehension. So it seems. Uh, they can just go and burn Kofor straight to the ground, or we can march in to help it, and... That's a pretty critical question. Kalita's army is not... not that strong. Because we haven't had a moment to sit down and recruit. So we'll probably have to wait for her to die, and then, then we can build up another proper army. 
Let's take the risk. Mostly because risks are fun. But I don't want to lose Kofor if we don't have to. That's that's the reasoning there. Sorcerer's Island. Definitely not going to survive. Let's march out of El Calabad again and go after this guy. There we go. He's dead. King Oyas is ready now. Can we maybe draw these guys out into an open field with Oyas? Could be worth a shot, actually. Actually, yes. Are they still blocked? They are. That means we can meet up these two armies and get marching north. I like that idea. That's going to work just fine. Yeah, they're they're together. Wackif is on his way. Setup is moving. And I think that's it with this turn. Let's move on. Yep, Sorcerer's Island's the first victim of our chaotic invasion. Oh, we totally lost Hat Miss. I have no idea what he does. That sucks. Okay, assault garrisons. Yeah, all right, got it. Moving on. Let's keep practicing. Nope. Oh, the, uh, the guy we lost was really high level. Critical success. Well, let's see what else we could slap together. Cunning and Eternal, no. Scorpion Carver, no. Scorpions are easy to get. Ooh, we can get a wise priest. Oh. Death? Eh, I don't know. Not my cup of tea. Okay, Sabar, let's upgrade you since we're here. Martech could really use some walls, I would think. Let's get Kalita off March stance. And it looks like these chaos are just gonna like stubbornly do everything to avoid fighting us, which is just so annoying. I would go and just fight them, but since it's a water battle, it's basically broken. Let's keep moving, Rakish. Maybe he can move to Lashik in time. Unlikely, but maybe. And the chaos is going to be getting wildly out of control here very fast. Okay, we've got Tolathor, but you know what? I think I think I want to do I want to do this fight. I want to fight Thorgrim with King Lamazash. All these Ushabti, the Great Bows, the War Sphinx. I want to drop this Tomb Scorpion for just another War, War Sphinx, but what can you do? You can't have all the things you want. Let's get in there. Okay. This is going to be a doozy, but they're all winded, which will work in favor for us. There is no doubt about it. Why don't we give our... I, don't, I just I don't want it. I don't care about it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. What if our, what's our special great bows do? Shield breaker. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. Let's do it. Good amount of wind magic. Ooh, we're in like an orky's place. Very bad land, very orky. Very cool. Okay, let's get organized a little bit. This is going to be an interesting... Very interesting fight. An army almost entirely of constructs. Let's have them in front, I guess, and then monstery stuff right there, because why not? Okay. Well, it's it's a simple army. But it seems to me like it'll be pretty darn effective. 
Tomb Guard, let's get him over there. All the Ushanti, the heroes. It's a fast moving army, that's for sure. Except for the Tomb Guard, of course, but you gotta have some infantry. I don't know, maybe late game we can have all Ushabti, depending on what we're fighting. I'm a little bit... I'm getting pretty increasingly impressed with the strength of the Tomb Guard fighting against the dwarves. It's been, it's been proving to be decent. Okay, let's see what we can do against that cannon with the bow Ushabti. Okay, well that volley is going off. Oh, we're splatting some dwarves. It's probably that hawkish precision is helping as well. Oh, look at that. The, the chosen of the gods have like exploding arrow. That is crazy cool. Oh, it reminds me of like howitzers from uh, Napoleon or something. The way they're hitting that cannon crew is brutal. Well, okay. That cannon's down. Let's move in the infantry. Yep, cannon crew is dead. Let's get after that organ gun. Move in the tomb king and the and the priest. Ushabti, let's move in in mass. Wow. That's pretty impressive stuff, but we do have a lot of them. What are these rangers with great weapons? Let's get some tomb stuff on it. A lot of nasty going on over here. It's wow, look at the cutoff is a little bit more misleading there. Let's get in with everything else. Oh yes. Time for some fun. The big kitty is jumping right into the action. Let's start divvying up all the Ushabti right into the action here. All of them, please. And it's time for a withering. And a pit of shades where? Pit of shades where? Those are two groups of hammers. Let's do it right there. And let's get the king and everyone in close. Okay, let's start. Why don't we hit Thorgrim, Grudgeham, Grud whatever he is, with all our great bows and see how much that does. Looks like we're, we're getting some arrows out here. Is it working? I don't know. Why don't we hit those Iron Breakers instead? They're easier. Let's hit him with a slowdown spell as well. Come on, Ushab T, push through. Push through. The War Sphinx is fighting everything. I guess that's what we want. Because of these broken edges, we cannot quite get around. It's, it's get, being very tough on us. But, okay, we're pushing through on their archers. That's good. We're chopping them up. It's just... It's not easy. Let's stay in their rear here if we can. Yep, we're shooting those iron breakers. Come on, you shop T. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. We got it. Can we get a... Nope. We can't quite get another wither in and we're not cool enough to have a mana regeneration. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Let's get in there. Boy, it is loud. It is loud. The dwarves are carrying on a polite conversation, it sounds like. What a mess. What a mess. We've only lost a couple hundred, but I guess we don't really have many to lose. Stay on top of those rangers. Let's stay on them if we can. These iron breakers are really struggling. Why don't we hit those rangers with the great bows? 
We need to do some counter fire here for sure. We're, we're doing okay, but not the best. Let's get our little guy out of there. Can we do a withering? Yes, we can. Good, good, good. Great bows hit the rangers over there. Anyone chasing all this? No. Okay. Ooh, we're, we're gonna really start losing some stuff soon. I don't like that. It's Thorgrim. Thorgrim's not gonna go easily. He's not gonna go easily. Let's get on those. Well, the Bugman Rangers, they're in trouble. Let's get on those Rangers over there. Let's chase down those. And now we have access to... Yep, let's just drop them right on top over there. Come on. There we go. Kill them all. How's our kitty? Kitty's fine. The Tomb Scorpion, on the other hand, not so fine. Let's get him a little bit closer to the king. Yeah. Direct fight with the dwarves. Direct fight with the dwarves. Not easy. Not so easy. Let's get our chosen in there to fight. This is... This is tough. This is a tough fight. It's a little bit harder than I thought. But then again, our hero is only level 8, and he's fighting probably like a level 40 Thorgrim. So there is that. We're gonna, we're gonna lose some stuff here. I don't want that to happen. We, lo we lost some Ushab to you, didn't we? Damn. Let's get in there. Oh, there goes more. Oh, damn it. Wow, we might actually lose this one at this rate. Maybe? I don't know. This is actually much harder than I thought it would be. Let's keep chasing down these annoying rangers. Oh, it looks like our curse might actually swing the battle here. Can we do a withering on top of it to seal the deal? No, not quite. This is... This is bad. This is bad. More Ushabti in there. Let's get these out of the group. Ushabti, focus fire, Thorgrim, please. Everyone in. Oh, oh. That's it. That's it. Oh, man. That was way tougher than I wanted it to be. But that was no ordinary dwarf army. And the circumstances were pretty much entirely against us. I think in hindsight, well... Well, no, in hindsight, I was thinking that in hindsight I should use the Great Bows to disable their artillery and then make them come at us, but they had all those rangers, and I don't think they would have. But look at, we, we have all this extra area, but the game would not let us get by, so. Well, live and learn, let's do it. Let's get out of here, see the numbers. Right? Numbers? There we go. The Realm of Souls. Yeah. Lost more than I thought. But we did take on... Ooh, is this the one that... No. Oh, well. Yikes. Okay, well... You know, this is an army we might actually want to necrotect in now that I'm looking at it. We have so many constructs. I think a Necrotect would Let's would actually leave. be leave. worthwhile the, with the unit card. Let's... Release them. I want the movement range, Unleash. actually. Let's take that. Mainly because I don't want to be caught by these guys. Be 
Level 9 with our priest. Let's get that second point in Pit of Shades and chase down Thorgrim to finish him off. Yep, nice and dead. Now we can take his organs, I think. Beautiful. And he gets... Well, Beard Collector's great. How come he didn't get... Did, has he already... He's already killed Thorgrim in the past. <laughs> All right. Well, fine. Let's definitely take Sun Scorch Bones again. If we had that, I think that battle might have been a little bit different. But alas, we did not have that. Let's start heading back to Numis. The long way. I don't want to get caught by these guys. We're going to lose Agro Mydol. We're just going to lose it. That's fine. Whack if... Keep moving that way, sir. Tolithor and Oyas. Level 17 here. Can't damage the walls, but we can block the army. Why not? We're just... We want the experience. Speaking of Necrotect... 4 out of 5 Scorpion Carver now. I might, I might have already checked this turn. King Tolthor, Oyas, we're ignoring Qatar. We're gonna pick our next. Yeah, let's might as well just get it all. We don't care about that guy. And then next, we're plus five armor for the War Sphinx. Plus, what? Explain to me why plus five armor on a unit that has like a hundred and twenty armor is interesting at all. I don't get it. That's that's right. I don't have to understand everything. But we're going to be moving towards that very soon. Very, very soon. Prin Prince Yannickat. I guess we'll hit these guys again for more experience. Level 23. Let's just keep going with the blue skills. And set up. Let's get into the Death Gorge. Okay. Next episode. We've got a battle over here and one over there. On the other side of the Badlands. And then probably a lot of fight with Chaos. We're not out of the... We're not out of the... The, the nasty zone yet. We've already lost one... Settlement to chaos and I don't want to lose any more, but well, you know how it is We'll see if they start rolling in from the southern deserts like we've seen in the past. I hope not <laughs> But we'll see Anyway, thanks for watching guys hit that like button if you enjoyed the content. We will see you in the next one